So this episode, I want to talk about things I wish I had known from the very start of my comedy career. Things that new comics do that maybe they shouldn't. So the first thing is that a lot of new comics think that they have to do new material every time they go on stage. You know, they come up with seven minutes, they do their open mic, and they're like, okay, some of that went pretty well. Time to throw it all away and, and do another seven. And they keep on trying to have new material every single time. In your first two years, I think you should just focus on crafting a killer eight minutes. You know, a lot of festivals and a lot of places just want to see seven to nine minutes of your material. So your first couple of years, that's what you should be focusing on. People invite their friends and family way too early. I mean, you can if you want. It'll, it'll help you have some confidence if you have a friendly face in the audience, I guess. But for a lot of people, uh, you might not ever be able to live this down. They're gonna remember how terrible you were or how terrible the set was. So, unless it's a, a friends and family event, sure. But if it's an open mic, or if it's a poorly run booked show, you're probably not gonna do well. Do you really want everyone to see you this early? It'd be like you, were, you just started to learn how to play the guitar. And after like two weeks of practicing, you start to invite people out to come hear you play the guitar. After two weeks, or even after two months, three months, like no, get a little better first. comics fall into and I was guilty of this was trying to be too shocking or dirty or you know just trying to emulate the comics that we that made us laugh really hard so then you try to push the boundaries yourself and you don't have the skill yet to understand how to not make the audience feel awkward as you're talking about these difficult tight rope walking premises and it just goes really bad Sometimes you'll just hear new comics go shocking, and that's all it is. It's just them saying things that you just normally don't hear in conversations. And it's shocking, but there's no insight to it. There's no twist. There's nothing funny. You are given a very specific amount of time. You can go under it. That's not a problem, but do not go over. It's a very tightly run ship. If you go over, someone else is not going to have as much time. And everyone's getting so little time already. So by going over your time, you're being very, very selfish. Move your mic stand. When you get on stage, unless you're keeping the mic in the stand, why is it there in front of you as a barrier between you and the audience? Rookie mistake. Anytime you see the mic stand still there, while they have the mic in their hands, then you know that they're a new comic because you gotta move that away. Uh, another mic thing that new comics do is they're expressing themselves with both hands, right? So they're used to doing and talking like this, but this is, their voice is gonna go in and out. That's a very clear sign that they're a new comic. You gotta have it rooted there. You can express with just one hand. Don't express with both hands. You'll get used to it. It'll, it'll be how it's some, some comics even like to rest their hands on their chin. So just to anchor, anchor the mic there. I don't. I, I, I don't want the mic touching any part of my face. So that was this episode on mis common mistakes that new comics make. I hope you don't make those mistakes too. And that you learned something from this video. Thanks and see you in a week.